Dive into crystal clear water? That sounds awesome. <gasps> Don't forget your coffee. Swing! Nice board. Mm. What about climb a snowy mountain? That sounds so romantic. Oh, never mind. That sounds awful. Check out the new virtual teleportation capsule. It turns virtuality into reality. John bought one of them with one click. You just think where you want to go and boom, you're there. First destination, a sunny beach. Uh, what's happening? Oh no, there's a glitch in the system. He can't control it with his mind. Ah! The capsule throws him into the movie he was watching. John is in a house. Bomb. It'll explode in five seconds. Gemma, Gemma with the... John can't make it stop ticking. Mm -hmm. It doesn't obey him. There are four doors. Three doors lead out of the house. And one leads to a dead end. Oh my goodness! An evil monster in the first door. Fire in the second door. Poisonous gas. Not so good. Huh, a windowless office. How can John get out of the house? That guy is fierce. Look at the tongue. John should throw the bomb into the evil monster's room. Boom! And then... Dive into the office. After the bomb goes off, John can go through the first door. The capsule starts tossing John from one country to another. Which countries does he visit? Alright, first one's easy, guys. You can see the big band. Boom! UK. Alright, number two. Tricky. Australia. Sydney Opera House. I didn't get this one. Italy. This one's pretty easy too, right? And this guy's lazy. Constantly napping. France. What about this one? Worst way to eat a banana ever. He's in China. 
What about now? He's in Portugal. All right, John stops at last. Woo, 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 on an island. But no time to rest. Because disaster. A volcano is starting to erupt. Uh-oh. The volcano seems real. Like, really, really real? What should John do? Here are the options. He should climb onto the roof and freak out! What about grab a bike? Maybe ride out of town. Or close the windows and stay inside. So what should John do? Thing about volcanoes? Poisonous gas. Yeah, it's more dangerous than lava and it travels fast because it's a gas. So climbing on the roof or riding a bike, that's bad. You'll breathe in that gas. Staying inside with the windows closed is safe-ish. John stays in the house. But his thoughts have other plans. Chica 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 bam 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 bam. Whoosh! Now he's in his favorite computer game. All right. He's a metal robot in a dungeon. There are three passages. First passage: a bomb with a motion sensor. Spider, be careful! Oh no! Second passage: dangerous plants that hurt people. Third passage, a crazy scientist with a blaster. Technically two blasters. Which passage should John choose? How about the second passage? The plants can't hurt John. He is a robot, remember? John escaped from the dungeon. And the capsule took him up. Way up. Oh man, why did he just think about skydiving? Oh no! He's afraid of heights. And being crushed. Now he's landing in the desert. His skin is burning from the sun. It feels so real. What should he do to survive? Sweaty guy. Take off all his clothes to cool down. Take some water from that pond. Run, shout, and cry for help. Or put some light color clothes on his head. And sit on his backpack. What should he do to survive? His nose is weird, right? You guys see that. Or is that just me? Don't take off your clothes. You'll get really bad sunburn. And the water might be dirty. Anyway, John has a water bottle. Running is a bad idea. You'll waste your energy. The last option is the best. Light-colored clothing reflects the sunlight. And the sand is hot. Protect your backside with your backpack. Way to go, John. John is sitting in the middle of the desert. He's got to turn off this capsule. Get back to real life. It's really hot. Aw, oh, poor John. He'd love some rain right about now. Just think it, John. Come on. The capsule takes him deep into the rainforest. Much better. Nice palm. And these bananas taste delicious. John meets a tribe. The chief seems nice. Great mustache. You can marry my daughter. But first, guess which one she is. A virtual wedding. 
<laughs> to the chief's daughter. Double. <laughs> Might be interesting. Swing. Which girl should John mm. choose? about choosing all three? Okay, no, no, no. John should choose the third girl. She has an amulet, and it's similar to the chief's one. He found the daughter. Now what? Wedding. Gonna get a kiss. I'm gonna get a... Oh, the capsule mm -hmm. throws John onto a ship. Ah. Wait. Oh, what about the wedding? Hey. <laughs> And it gets worse. The ship is sinking. The engine room has blown. John moves to the lower section of the ship. There are three hatches in front of him. They all lead to compartments with a way out. The first one is full of water and sharks. The second one is the electricity control room. There's a fire raging in the third compartment. Which compartment should John choose? How about the third compartment? Ooh, he can swim underwater, so the fire won't hurt him. Problem solved. John is safe. Suddenly, he remembers something. Ah, oh, the salesman said the capsule can be turned off manually. But there's no time. He's inside his favorite book. A hey, not the best book to jump into at all. Nuclear disaster. All living creatures have mutated. People can't live among them anymore. There are four shelters. North, South, East, and West. There are evil mutants in the East. There's a radiation field in the South. And there's acid rain moving from North to West. You don't want to get caught in that. Where should John go? North, East, South, West? Or just go home? John should wait for the acid rain to move west. Then he can just go north. <laughs> yeah! He's got it. Man, eyebrows. There's a control panel in the capsule. He just needs to enter the code. Oh, come on, John. Think, 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 think. But don't think about anything. Tricky. John entered the code and turned off the capsule. Oh, that was awesome! But I almost got trapped in there. Hey, I wonder if it's still under warranty. So where would you go? You know, if you had a teleportation capsule. 